Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. The intricate process involved with bringing a colossal aircraft to life is nothing short of amazing. Modern-day airplanes are brimming with state-of-the-art technologies and are considered a true sign of safety and integrity. With that said, the testing process for these machines is no easy task and requires a plethora of months-long tests. A brand new aircraft undergoes many firsts during its test phase. Once the aircraft rolls out of the production facility, it embarks on its first trial, the taxi test. During the taxi test, its engines roar into life and push the aircraft along the taxiway making it the first time the aircraft propels under its own power. While the taxi test seems reasonably simple on the first hand, several parameters such as the aircraft's response to steering, the effectiveness of brakes, and the gear alignment are closely monitored. During the taxi tests, Flight engineers garner valuable information on the ground handling characteristics of the aircraft, helping the pilots and other personnel grasp the idiosyncrasies of the new machine. A commercial aircraft undergoes two types of taxi tests during its runway debut. The low-speed taxi test is conducted to initiate the flight test program with consecutive taxi tests carried out at lower speeds. On the other hand, during the high-speed taxi test, the aircraft reaches a speed where the pilots lift the nose gear off the runway. Conducting the high-speed taxi test marks the completion of a series of functional tests prior to the first flight. With the proven capability of the aircraft to maneuver on the ground, engineers continue the flight test program with the Velocity Minimum Unstick Test. The VMU test determines the minimum speed at which the aircraft can take off. The test requires a high degree of flying skill as the pilots drag the aircraft's tail along the runway. During the takeoff, the contact of the custom-built tail skid announces the maximum possible angle the aircraft could reach during the takeoff. The VMU is where the aircraft takes off while touching its skid on the runway. The high energy rejected takeoff test is as demanding as the VMU test. To replicate a worst case scenario, technicians pump the fuel tanks full, making the takeoff weight of the aircraft match its maximum takeoff weight. In addition, they install completely worn out brake units for all the wheels. Test pilots initiate and continue the takeoff roll until the aircraft reaches its decision speed. Then, they pound on the brakes with full potential. The brakes take the brunt, as no thrust reversers are called for action. The entire kinetic energy held by the aircraft is completely dissipated in terms of heat which could possibly engulf the carbon brakes in thick smoke. 
It takes more than stopping the aircraft within the desired distance to complete the test. The crew meets a five minute marker without any further action, which is the maximum response time for firefighters to reach a distressed aircraft within the airport. During the five minute time frame, carbon brakes may gleam with flames, reaching a temperature of 2500 degrees Fahrenheit. as they are designed to deflate via fusible plugs when the air within the tire reaches a threshold temperature. Yet another dramatic test is engine out testing. The non-flying pilot turns off one engine during the takeoff run while the flying pilot responds to the asymmetric thrust with rudder inputs to control veering off. Successful execution of the test verifies the ability of the aircraft to tackle an engine out scenario during the takeoff roll safely. Two pilots work hand in hand to execute the maneuver as no room for error is accepted. The test reveals critical information on the handling characteristics of the new aircraft under single engine operations with reduced thrust. Taking the test aircraft through challenging situations for pilots make the tests more effective. as the gathered results could positively impact real-world scenarios. One such test is the crosswind test. As the name suggests, test pilots take the aircraft through a crosswind. While the runways are constructed in a way to face the wind in both landings and takeoffs, unprecedented meteorological conditions could upset the usual wind patterns. In such cases, pilots should compete with the wind to maneuver the aircraft on the runway. The team expects a perpendicular wind that exceeds the crosswind threshold stipulated by most operational manuals. They do this to maximize the effectiveness of the test. During the approach, pilots follow the crabbed technique, which keeps the wings level and the nose pointed towards the wind. When the aircraft reaches the touchdown point, pilots decrab the aircraft. Decrabbing should take place at the right time. A too early decrab could drift the airplane on the runway, and a late decrab could exert excessive force on the landing gears. Apart from assessing the performance of the aircraft, the test team conducts tests on safety critical items such as evacuation slides. A slide is the final lifeline for expedited evacuation of the passengers and crew upon a crash landing. The test team deploys a slide intentionally to evaluate the deployment process. The slide should deploy to its final shape in less than six seconds and withstand a 25 knot wind during the unfurling. The ultimate intention of the slide deployment test is to ensure the correct and swift operation of the slide. As during an emergency, the evacuation should be completed within 90 seconds, even with only 50% of the available exits and in low light conditions without any assistance from a third party. An escape slide is provided with all the measures necessary to improve its effectiveness. 
The color, texture, and shape are all carefully selected. Keeping the vitality of a slide during an emergency in mind. When we look at this slide, the main material used is a polyurethane coated nylon. Basically the same as your general windbreak or waterproof jacket you may buy in the shops. All escape slides are painted grey and there's a reason for that. It's actually a special grey paint which is reflective of heat and of course if there's a fire you need to make sure that it can withstand it for a certain period of time so it doesn't melt in case there's an evacuation. Slide manufacturers have devised the ingenious idea of employing an aspirator that sucks a sweeping surge of atmospheric air through a venturi to fill up the slide in less than six seconds. A relatively small bottle pressurized with carbon dioxide to 3000 PSI provides the motive flow to the venturi tube. Employing this principle significantly reduces the need to carry a hefty gas bottle to inflate the slide. Additionally, the aspirator is lightning fast at gulping a tremendous amount of air compared to inflating with a larger bottle. A door on a commercial aircraft can be equipped with either a slide or a slide raft. As their name suggests, a slide raft differs from a slide, as it could cater to evacuation and then act as a raft to accommodate people on the water. A deployed slide raft undergoes meticulous scrutiny before it's packed again. One such test is the floor test where the slide raft is left unpacked on the floor and inflates suddenly from an external air source. The testing process of a modern-day commercial aircraft is demanding and time-consuming. But the manufacturing process of an aircraft is nothing short of amazing. Putting thousands of parts together to bring a colossal airliner to life is a task of its own. An aircraft manufacturer does not manufacture each and every part of the aircraft under one roof. Different parts provided by manufacturers across the globe unite in the final assembly line to piece together a brand new aircraft. Boeing, the largest aircraft manufacturer in the U.S., receives its parts from Italy, Germany, Japan, and many other countries across the globe. The culmination of all the hard work in the workshops, facilities around the world, the final assembly line, and test facilities is the delivery of the aircraft to its buyer. The delivery goes above and beyond a financial transaction, as a reliable aircraft is an unwavering promise given to the buyer. Modern-day airplanes are the gleaming embodiment of cutting-edge technology. So much technology is incorporated into these machines. With that said, the meticulous testing process is what redefines the level of safety and integrity of these intricate flying machines. Once the test aircraft has successfully passed through all the hurdles in the testing program, one can gaze upon it as a testament to human ingenuity. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.